First Union is proud to sponsor this program and relive these great moments in Florida basketball history. Congratulations, Gators, on your first trip to the Final Four. Coach, we at First Union are extremely proud to be associated with this video featuring Florida's first ever Final Four appearance. As an alumnus, the 93-94 Gators are very special. They have inspired all of us with their talent and total commitment. First Union is truly honored to help present this collection of memories. Thank you, CB. We also are proud of our team's accomplishments and grateful to First Union for their effort to make this video possible. A common creed heard around the Florida basketball camp during the 1993-94 season was, find a way. These words became a rallying cry. A season filled with catchy slogans and family values became a dream come true for Florida basketball. Lon Kruger's team hustled, lunged, swarmed, and swatted its way to national prominence. The Gators dared to dream. They rose from obscurity to near perfection. And when the madness of March gave way to April's college basketball summit meeting in Charlotte, Team Intangible found itself in the thick of things. Only the final four remained. Duke, Arkansas, Arizona, and Florida. UF's first ever Final Four berth was cause for memorable celebrations, both in Gainesville and in Charlotte. finish unbeaten at home, but Lon Kruger and the Gators said, we'll find a way. And when we went into the tournament, they said, oh, they won't do well in the SEC. 
But Lon Kruger, as Gator said, we'll find a way! And we went into the NCAA tournament, they said, well, they're a flash in a pan, and they won't get into the Sweet 16, but Glenn Kruger said, we'll find a way! And now here we are at the Final Four, and they say, well, they can't do very well, but you know, and I know that Lon Kruger and the Gators will find a way! Go Gators! Go Gators! Woo! But in the midst of all the celebration, Coach Kruger and his team knew they had a game to prepare for. They enjoyed the spotlight, but they ignored the Final Four circus that was swirling around them and wasted no time in getting right back to work. Cover next receiver's got to be tough, okay? Especially when Hill's got the ball, you can talk about help here. You gotta force him inside, force him to your help all the time. Okay, if he's playing with a little pick right there, don't let him dictate. We're gonna attack the ball. Okay? It was time to play the game, and the Gators were plenty focused. Duke awaited in the semifinal clash between the two Coach K's. The Blue Devils were on familiar ground. The Gators were in unknown territory. Yet it was Florida who set the pace. Dan Cross struck like lightning from the outside. And Andrew DeClerc thundered in the paint. Clark it through, Andrew. And Demet Book did some damage at the other end. The lead seesawed until Florida's late half rally earned some breathing room at the break. Hill trying to throw it inside to Clark. Deflected by the Gators, Dimitri Hill. Picked up by Craig Brown and then Brown lost the ball. But Marquis saves it to Cross, to Jason, and Jason scores! The intermission did nothing to cool Florida's guns. The Gators mounted yet another burst to start the second half. They hit a pair of quick buckets, and the lead falls to 11. Duke's Coach K had no choice but to call timeout to stop the bleeding. Am I calling a timeout? Yes, I am. The clerk increased Duke's dilemma after the timeout. 18-foot jumper, yes! Andrew DeClerc Then Duke's two. magnificent Grant Hill took matters into his own hands. Hill and company proved why the Blue Devils had landed in three of the last four NCAA Finals. The race to the finish was on. Off his hand, the turnover picked up by Cross. Triple drive inside the clerk. Shoots, rims, scores, fouls, counts the basket. Oh, my! Good luck to Hill. Dimitri Hill and the clerk did what they could do to hold off the Duke charge, but the Blue Devils were gaining fast. Senior captain Craig Brown, hamstrung all game by Grant Hill's straight jacket defense, rose to one last occasion to give Florida a tenuous one-point lead. Yes, oh my! 
Quick round one, gone it by a... But it wasn't enough. Right side, Capel on the wing, comes up shooting and hitting a three for Duke. Oh, man. The 10-foot shot blocked by Park, picked up by Hill. He can't get it, but the click follows and tips it in. Capel against Anderson, down inside the Park. Park shooting off the glass, missing, no good. Rebounds, he shot, puts it up and in. A rebound from Cherokee Park. Duke leads by three. Duke's improbable comeback was complete. Duke's going to grind around the clock out to Capel. They spread the floor and they pass it to Park with five. Park gets it to Clark. Clark gets it to Lang. Lang will dunk it and Duke the will win. The team that had found a way so, so many times Duke finally came up empty. It's so good. The ball game is over and the Duke Blue Devils have survived. I didn't realize you were that quick. guys are good. Florida's fantastic season was finished just one game shy of the national championship. I'll always be proud of the way our guys lined up and swung away. You know, they didn't back into that ball game wondering what was going to happen. They lined up and played that ball game exactly as they had the previous 35 or, or so. And I think that was a real, uh, uh, maybe a reminder to us as to why that club made it to the Final Four. Too much was accomplished for spirits to be doused by the Final Four setback. The 1994 basketball season was one Gators everywhere will always remember. Florida's dream season began in obscurity. It began in the land down under. A summer tour of Australia built teamwork and camaraderie. Hey, Mommy, I lost my camera. Don't be mad at me. Still, no preseason poll mentioned the Gators. It made no difference. The Gators found out early what the rest of the nation would learn in time. Florida unveiled a very special Gator team in the season opener against Florida International. The Golden Panthers came ready to play and trailed by only three at the half. But Florida began a devastating trend of second half burst, outscoring Florida International 24 to eight in the first 10 minutes. Sophomore Dimitri Hill launched the Gator run, unveiling Demet Hook to rave reviews. It was a decisive premiere for the Gators. The Gators ventured deep into the heart of Texas for an early season test against the running and gunning Longhorns. But the Horns didn't count on the emergence of Dan Cross. Big points from DeClerc. Brown and Hill kept Florida right in the nip and tuck affair that saw 18 lead changes. Then Cross knocked down eight consecutive free throws in the final minute. It was the first of many instances in which Florida found a way to win against the odds. The Gators held on despite 28 turnovers. The early season buffet of in-state rivals continued with South Florida's invasion of the O'Connell Center, but DeClerc and the swarming Gator D laid in wait. A blistering 14-4 run to start the second half broke open a close game. Cross ahead to Dimitri Hill on the run out. Dimitri lay it in with the left hand. Dimitri While the Gators doused South Florida's shooters, the clerk of the court pounded the Bulls on the offensive end. The clerk in the lane, 80 turn, shoots eight footer, good. Lon Kruger's 50th win at the Florida Helm would not come easily. An undefeated Jacksonville club stood in the way. They get it to Jacksonville, and on the inbound, the Gators steal it, and Cross has stolen it again. Cross on a run out, down for a dunk. Florida on the steal. Brown gets it ahead to Anderson on the run out. Jason Anderson scores. Smothering defense sparked a 21-4 run midway through the first half. That propelled the Gators to a 37-23 halftime bulge. The Dolphins eventually closed to within one in the game's waning moments, despite the efforts of Jason Anderson. It was senior captain Craig Brown's turn to play the hero with clutch free throws. The Gators' first loss, a tough 69-59 setback in Orlando against Florida State, was sandwiched between a pair of impressive victories over Stetson and Central Florida. 